and after two straight weeks of the second half comebacks for the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, Coach Mike Williams is looking to take home another victory at home against Louisiana Monroe. And Coach Williams is also looking to not be trailing at halftime against any other teams. In the first week, they had a scare against FCS Southeast. And in the second, in their opening game of ACC play, Coach Williams was down at halftime and had a second half rally to come back and beat Boston College. And here we're going to take a look at the stats of the season. A couple of interesting facts is that the 84.5 rushing yards per game that this defense gives up is 8th best in the nation. On the top percentile of the yards per game with 304. But it looks like this team that we're playing is going to give up a pretty good amount of yards as well. And here are your top players for Louisiana Monroe. Colton Browning, 37-74, 417 yards and 107 rushing yards, 4 total touchdowns. And for your Wake Forest Demon Deacon players, we have Campanar at the top of the list. 12 catches, 199 yards, 1 touchdown. Justin Jackson, seven total t tackles, one for a loss. And also Ramsey, who's going to be looking to play really well in the nickelback package. As you see here, both teams are getting set for this game. And let's take a look at the defensive averages for both teams. Monroe giving up 23 more yards, 31 more yards rushing, but they have three sacks to wait for us as two, and one interception to wait for us as none. There are no interceptions for this wait for us secondary, but that's hopefully going to change soon. And here we go at BBNT Field, at Wake Forest's own field. We're getting set, and to start the game off, Wake Forest has offense first, trips right, shotgun formation. Josh Harris takes the handoff, he's got a block, gets an opening, gets past the tackler, and 17 yards gain on the game, on the ground. First and 10, shotgun formation, Harris offsets left. Price drops back, throws right, hits his tight end Rook, who gets a little bit of a block, and gets the first down, but he fumbles, and defense recovers. Let's take a look at that real quick. And see if the ruling stays. As you see there, catch. Hard to tell from that angle. It's hard to tell from that angle. But as when we take a closer look, it looks like the knee and elbow were down. And that's going to be the ruling on the field. So it's first and ten. Two back set. Shotgun. Price fakes the handoff, throws left, his Campanaro is leading receiver for a 16-yard gain. That's a first down, wait for us. As you see here, Campanaro just kind of runs a rub route, gets a little bit of an opening and catches the ball, and he gets up after the hard hit, and he's jarring a little bit with the secondary. So it's first and 15, pistol formation, triple option. Tanner Price fakes the handoff, keeps it, pitches it right, and hits his man Harris for a 12 yard gain. So on third and three, two back set. Man in motion, Price takes the option left, hits Martin last second. Martin's got an opening, and first down, Wake Forest, gain of 14. Shotgun formation trips right. Price isn't liking what he sees. Steps back the throw, throws left. It hits Harris on the wheel route. And Harris gets the reception but falls out of bounds. So second and three. Eye formation. Harris in the backfield takes a handoff up the middle. 
and just plows his way for a three yard gain. First down, Wait Forest. Pistol formation. Harris the uh, long back in the or the far back in the pistol set. Takes it right. Cuts up field and gain of three. This is some tough run by Harris. Heavy eye formation. Third and goal. Triple option. Tanner fakes a handoff. Takes it up in four yard gain, but is taken down at the one yard line. So in fourth and goal, Coach Harris is going to gamble. Pistol formation. Price with the handoff to Harris. Harris up the middle for a one yard gain. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. As you see there, Coach, Harris, or Coach Williams is very happy about Harris scoring that. So it's first and ten. Play action by Colton. Throws right, hits his man Caesar for a 20 yard, 21 yard gain. Trips left, shotgun formation. Brian drops back, sees it opening, runs upfield, gets out of the pocket. Finally taken down after a gain of 14. So second 13, Brian drops back, throw. Throws left side, hits Caesar for a minimal gain of 5 yards. Hurry up offense, third and six, hits Caesar again left side, and Caesar picks up just enough for a first down. First and ten. Brian is hit hard by Ramsey coming in. So it's second and ten, bunch formation on the right. Tight end in motion. Brian drops back to throw. Throws right for him. Ham gets the ball in a seven yard gain. So hand off to Edwards. Edwards sheds a sheds a tackle, sheds another tackle, and a gain of 17. Or excuse me, seven. Shotgun formation. Brian drops back in the hurry up. Finally taken down after a five yard gain. So it's five wide, third and one. Brian drops back to throw. Throws right, hits his man Steed, who drops the ball. Just gonna bring on the field goal unit. And field goal is up. It's good. So first and ten. Wait for his offense. Pistol formation. Harris takes the handoff. Gets a good block. And seven yard gain. That's going to be it for the first quarter, guys. It's seven to three. Wait for us. And let's see if we can take this momentum into the second quarter. So it's trips left. Pistol formation. Price drops back to throw. Throws left side. Hits his man Campanaro. Who else? And for a 12 yard gain. So it's first and 10 pistol formation. Harris takes the handoff. Jukes out right side. And finally taken down after a gain of six. Second and four. Harris counter left. Harris got some good moves. And a great juke to get him the first down. First and 10. Two back shotgun set. Price drops back the throw. Throws left side to a wide open Harris. Harris tries to cut up the middle and gain of 16. First and 10. Wide receiver in motion. Fates a handoff. Play action. And Price is taken down for a sack of eight. That was a big hit by Jeffries. Let's see this again. As you see that Jeffries just pulls around the right tackle and demolishes Price. So third and 13, two back set. Price drops back to throw, hits Martin on the right side in the flat. Not gonna get enough for the first down, but a pretty good gain. Gain of 13, puts us back in field goal range. On fourth and five, field goal is up. And Redland in for the field goal. So it brings up a touchdown lead. Wide receiver in motion, Colton Brown, Brown's got an opening. Colton's gonna get to the third level. One man to beat. And finally taken down after a 45-yard rush. And it looks like they're going to hurry up on this offense. The five-wide formation again. Brian drops back the throw. Throws middle and hits his man Steed who had a third down incompletion. So Steed hits up right side again. Gain of eight. First down, Louisiana Monroe. So it's first and ten. Brian drops back. Throws left again to Steed. Steed's trying to break a tackle. But too many defenders out there. Now, hurry up offense brings up a second and two. Brown trying to draw the defense off sides actually gets his own man. That's a false start on the offensive line. Let's bring him back five more yards for a second and seven. 
Looks like Trips right formation, shotgun set, Edwards uh, offset on the right. Brown's going to run the option, tries to break a tackle, but is taken down. So third and one, Brown drops back, throw, throws over left side, touchdown, Louisiana Monroe. Jaron Ham for the seven yard touchdown reception. And as you see, Ari, his team's getting pumped up on the sideline. They're excited for this catch. So it brings a Wake Forest Demon Deacon the offense back on the field. And on first and ten, trips left. Price going play action. Throws left side and is picked off. He had the bubble scenes screen set up and just did not see the defender waiting on it. And that is an interception. As you see there, he just play action, turns and looks and fires, but does not see the defender waiting on the ball. And this defense is getting fired up. The momentum feels like it's changing here. So it's first and ten pistol formation. Brown drops back to throw. Throws left. Hits his man Steed for yet another reception. Gain of four yards. Wide receiver in motion. Hand off to Edwards. Edwards up the middle. Almost breaks a tackle, but it's finally taken down. So on a hurry up offense. First and goal. Edwards in motion. Brown's going to take the option left and taken down after a gain of three. Hurry up again. Option right. Colton gets the touchdown on the keeper. Four-yard gain into the end zone. Louisiana Monroe takes the lead 17-10. As you see there, Colton, just, Colton Browning just comes in untouched at the second level. So this offense is going, trying to make up for that interception. First and ten pistol formation. Play action from Price. Price is taken down for a sack. Loss of six on the play. Trips right, shotgun formation. Price drops back to throw and gets sacked yet again on the play. Loss of 18. Two plays in a row. This offensive line is going to need some improvement. We might start looking to see who we can replace on this offensive line. And if it wasn't the big defensive tackle, it's going to be one of the ends that were coming free. So on third and 24, we're just trying to look to pick up some yards again. And false start on the offensive line. Brings us even further back. So from the end zone, Price is going to take the shotgun snap. Third and 26, Price fires over the left side. Almost hits his man and almost intercepted. This defense is playing great against this Wake Forest offense. Steed's almost going to catch it over the middle, but it's hit hard on the play. So it's third and nine, bunch formation on the right, five wide, and hits his man Cook up the seam for a 16 yard gain. First and ten, five wide again. Brian drops back, throw, throws left. And hits his man Harper for a six yard gain. Second and four. Tight end in motion. Brown drops back throw. Throws over to the right. Hits his man May. And into the end zone. Tavares. Tavari. Tavares May. <laughs> it's going to be a touchdown for Louisiana Monroe. We are down two touchdowns now. Trying to get something going with less than a minute on the clock. Harris with a first down. Wide receiver in motion. Raglan with the handoff. Throws a stiff arm. Gets the first down. Gain of two. So in shotgun formation. Three wide receiver set. Second and 12. Drops back to throw. Hits James. James breaks the tackle and had one man to beat for a walk in. So with the hurry up first and 10. He's going to throw left. Almost intercepted by Newsome. Second and ten pistol formation. Trips left. Price drops back to throw. Throws left side. Hits James one more time for a 14 yard gain. Another first down. First and ten. Price drops back to throw. Throws right or left. And hits his man James. What an incredible reception for James. He had a guy right in his face and... Price just doesn't even care. He throws it anyway, and that's going to give them a one-touchdown deficit. 
at the halftime. Looks like Coach Williams is going to talk his boys up yet again for a third straight week to come back for a second half comeback. Now for some halftime scores and highlights. This offense and this offense for the Louisiana Monroe is having a great day, both passing and running. This defense is going to have to tighten up on it, get off their blocks, get some pressure on the quarterback. And as far as Louisiana Monroe's defense is going, they are annihilating Tanner Price. The offensive line is just going to have to step up and, you know, get some blocks, allow him some time to throw out the ball out. But let's see this halftime stats. 91 rushing yards. This quiet Louisiana Monroe offense is get, just gashing us with runs. And that's going to be it for the halftime. So let's go into the second half play. So with third quarter starting, first and 10, Brian drops back the throw, throws right, and hits his man Caesar for a 23 yard reception. First and 10. Uh, Brian is going to try to run and is sacked for a loss. Second and 14, shotgun formation. Brian with the head off to Edwards. Edwards up the left side, breaks the tackle. Finally taken down after an eight yard gain. So third and eight, screen set up left or right. And Reagan just misses him and is finally taken down by our sure tackler Olsen, who's one of our leaders on this defense. And after a punt, brings up first and 10 for this Wake Forest offense. Two back set. Triple option. Tanner Price fakes the handoff. Keeps it. Got a block up in the secondary. Tanner Price is not the fastest, but he's got some wheels. Tanner Price is finally taken down after a 69-yard gain. First and 10 play action. Hits his tight end left. Rook into the end zone. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. And Rook seemed to not have anyone even close to him. On that left side over there that play action drew the defense to the right see that with the with Harris going right everyone bit the fake and Rook into the end zone no one even close to him second 10 five wide Brian drops back throw and finally hit for a sack Redding with his second sack on the day so second 15-5 wide, defense is playing soft, hits his man Ham on the right, and not enough for the first down. Second and 10, 12, Harris with the screen left, and is taken down after a five-yard gain. He just needed one block to make to get that first down. So on third and seven, looks like a bunch formation. Play action, hits his man Harris on the wheel route yet again. For a first down, that wheel route is giving this defense a hard time to cover. Press drops back the throw. Throws over the left side and hits Campanaro for a first down. Gain of 24 yards. He is over 50 yards on the day. Price takes the option right. And he's just going to take what he sees. Gets a 9-yard gain. First down, Wait Forest. First and goal, Campanaro in motion. Hand off to Campanaro, who gains about two yards. It was tough. He got hit right away. He just stumbles ahead. So second and goal. And Harris is just going to plunge into the middle. Takes the counter into the end zone. Giving Wake Forest their first lead on the day. Bunch formation right. First and ten. Colton Browning drops back. Throw throws right. Hits his wide receiver, Ham. For a minimal gain of three yards. Second and seven, Brian drops back, throws left side, hits Steed. Steed gets a block and finally taken down after a 12 yard reception. First and 10, trips right. Brian drops back and is hit hard by Justin Jackson, our playmaker on this defense. Edwards goes in motion, making it five wide. Drops back to throw. Scrambling left and taken down for a sack on the play. So it's third and 21. Wait for us to bring in the blitz. Colton drops into the pocket. Heaves it right and intercepted for Johnson. Johnson with the first interception 
on the season for this Wake Forest defense. Johnson would just, when he threw it up, Johnson just sat on the ball and waited for it to come to him. So it trips right, so, or trips left set up. Wide receiver screen to Campanaro, who takes it for an 18-yard gain. And there you have it, guys. This second quarter is down, or third quarter is down, and it's 31-24 Monroe. 11-yard gain. So it's first and 10. Pistol formation. Martin with the handoff. Martin up the middle. It's got a 9-yard gain. Pretty good gain for Martin. So it's third and 1. Pistol formation. Price play action. Going to roll. Hits, gets hit, but stays on his feet and gets just enough for the first down. 2-yard gain. Second and goal. Pistol formation. Price going to take the option. Pitches his last second and almost a costly turnover. We got to make sure we watch out for those pitches at the last second. Defender just got in between both. So trips right. Shotgun formation. Third and goal. Looks to be about at the 11 yard line. James in motion. The triple option. Fakes. Pitches out the James. James got opening and taken down after a gain of 10. One yard line. Williams is going to elect to take the field goal to take this lead. So 34-24. Wake Forest. See if this defense can hold. First and 10. Steed sets up for the tight end screen. And Steed gets a gain of 8. After a loss of 3. This Browning looks like it takes like a draw or delay. And he's going to be taken down for loss. So punt to Wake Forest's offense again. Harris takes a counter left. Gets a couple good blocks. 11 yard gain. First and 10 to back set. Price drops back third. Throws the screen left. Harris has got a couple good blocks and gain of 11 for first down. First and 10 trips left. Campanar gets away from his man, and of course he's going to get hit on that slant. If he gets a little bit of an opening, Price is going to find him. Harris with some hard running right there for a gain of four. Third and three, trips right. Price doesn't like what he sees. He's going to flip the formation. Price drops back, throws to Campanar, screen left, set up. And Campanar is going to gain about eight on the play, another first down. And this Wake Forest offense is just trying to melt this clock away and get some points while doing so. Screen set up left side. Harris takes the hand or takes the pass and a gain of three. Second and seven. A little under two minutes left to go in the game. Heavy formation. Harris just up the middle with a hard run for gain of four yards and forcing this Louisiana Monroe team to take their timeouts. Harris play action hits Martin on the flat and Martin's taken down for a one yard gain. So I'm fourth and two. Redland's gonna come out for the field goal unit yet again. Mike Williams is deciding to just pat the stat or pat this uh, score to make it a two two touchdown lead. So in second and ten, Brian drops back the throw, stands in the pocket, throws right, and another deflection for Johnson. Johnson's being tested still even after the interception, and he's still making plays. So on third and ten, it's going to be a two-down set, gain of six, Man, wide receiver in motion on fourth and four. This could be the last play of the game for Louisiana Monroe. Brian evades one tackler and is taken down for a sack. That's going to do it, guys. This brings out victory formation for this Wake Forest Demon Deacons. That's always a great thing to see. And that's going to be it. Price with the knee. 37-24. Wake Forest over Louisiana Monroe. And Harris is going to be the player of the game with 103 rushing yards and 63 receiving yards let's take a look at a couple of highlights of this game brought to you by 
Coca-Cola Zero. And now for your stats of the game, for your Wake Forest Demon Deacons, Tanner Price, 22 of 30, 259 yards, two touchdowns, the to one interception. It's got a gain of 28, or a long of 28, and sacked three times. We're going to have to do something for this offensive line to get them blocking better. So Josh Harris, the player of the game, 15 carries, 103 yards, two touchdowns. Tanner Price, 10 carries for 53 yards. DeAndre Martin's going to have 4 for 20. Matt James, 1 carry for 10 yards. And Ragland and Campanara both with 1 carry for 2 yards. Harris is going to lead the team in receptions with 7 of 63. Campanara is going to lead the team in yards of reception. Reception yards is going to be 6 of 91. James with a couple of great catches, all for first down, I believe, and a, one of the two touchdowns came from him right before the um, first half ended. Rook on that play action had a touchdown who could have basically walked in, three catches for 24 yards. And Preble, our center, and Summers is going to give up the sacks on the day. And we might have to be looking at making some changes for them. So on the defensive side, Jackson and Johnson both with six. Olsen and Thompson with four. And Lowe and Watson with three being our top leaders of the day. Tackle for losses. Both Harris and Redding with two tackles for a loss. Watson with one. Olsen with one. Thompson with one. Jackson with one. And Whitlock all with one. Now let's take a look at sacks we got after this quarterback today. Harris, our defensive tackle, is going to have two. Our other defensive tackle, Whitlock, is going to have one. Jackson on the blitz got one. Thompson with one. And also Redding with one, who's our leading sack on the season. Johnson with the only interception of the day. Both cornerbacks, Noel and Johnson, get a deflection. And let's take a look at the game stats. Wake Forest, first down, 22. Rushing yards, 190. Passing yards, 259. Turnovers, 1. And time of possession, 8 minutes longer than Louisiana Monroe. As you see there, Browning got 182 yards on the in the air against this defense. But it's not a bad showing for the Wake Forest defense. I'm glad they stepped up against this pretty good good offense as you see here Harris and Johnson both players of the game for Wake Forest and Browning and Johnson for Louisiana Monroe not a bad showing for Col Colton Browning but we were able to get the defense going when we needed it and had to come back again in the second half against this offense anyway guys I hope you enjoy I'll see you next week at week four when we go to Army Leave a like if you did, comment if you want, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time.